Now, let's start with money-to-money -money relationship. If I open my database diagram, in here I have classes, class subjects table, and subjects table. It means that each class can have multiple subjects and also vice versa. Each subject can be taught in multiple classes. So the relation between this classes and subjects is money to money using class subject table as a private table. So let's go to classes and fetch all the classes with the su their subjects. So let's go to classes model. Let's open the classes model, this one. And in here, let's create a new relationship. Let's type here public function subjects. Then inside here, we will type return dollar sign this belongs to money. Then after that, we have to type the model name. So in the, our case, it's subject model. So subjects colon colon class, then the pivot table name. So if I open, this is the table which connects both these tables. So class subjects. I will type this class, so class subjects. Then I have to type the foreign key for my classes. So if I open it, this one, in here the foreign key for classes is class ID. So I'm going to type this one. So let's type class ID. Then I have to type the redirected public key. So the second or the subject table foreign key. So if I open this, the related foreign key is subject ID. So I have to type subject ID in the fourth parameter. So let's type subject ID. Now if I go to classes controller to fetch this, so let's go to classes controller and in the index method in the state of student and teacher, let's call the subject. So in here, let's type subjects relationship. Now let's go to this route and open it in the browser. So classes index. Now let's open this. Okay, my ZAMP is not on. Let's turn it on. Let's refresh. Okay. Now, in here, uh, I load all the classes with the subjects. If you see in here, I have two subjects in this class. If I open them, I have this subject. And if I open the pivot table, in here, it will display the class ID and the subject ID. So, the class ID is one. Here also, we have one. And the subject ID is also one, and we have one. If I scroll down, this is the last class. In here, the ID is 20, and it have three subjects. So if I open this one and the pivot table, now the class is 20, same ID, and the subject is 5, same this one. So to connect with the pivot table, use we can use belongs to money and Laravel. Let's see what this one with another demo. So if I scroll here, I have subjects, grades, then students. So each student can have multiple subjects and each subject can be taught to multiple students and they are connected with the grades table. This is a pivot table between the student and the subject. There is one more thing that I have a great column. So let's go to students table and get all the subjects with their grades. So let's go to student model first. Let's open the student model. And in here, let's create a new method. In here, let's start the public function subjects. Then return dollar sign this belongs to money 
then the model name which is in our case it's subjects colon colon class then the pivot table name so in our case it's grades let's type here grades then after that the foreign pivot key so in here if i come i have a student id so i'm in the student model so i will type the student id first so a student id then after that the related pivot key so the subject pivot keys in our case it's subject id let's type subject id here subject id now let's save this let's go to student controller and in here let's call the subjects in the state of class name subjects now let's go to this uh, route so let's open the web.php and call this method so let's go to students okay so now this student have two subjects one subject and two subjects both of them are here with the pivot table but if i you guys have noticed there is no grade column only the student id and the subject id so if i want to display this grade also in that case in the student model after my belongs to i will write another call another function which is with pivot and my column name so great let's save this now let's go back refresh now if i open the subject then pivot table in here i also have the great column as well in here as you okay let's uh, open this one pivot great i have the great also even if you want to bring the time stamp as well you can do that also by just typing with time stamps now let's save let's go refresh now let's open this so in here right now i have the student id subject id great and also created at and updated at so this is how you can define your money to re money relationship using a pivot table in Laravel.